My name is Therese Woodcock. Uh, I was a student at the uh, Institute of Child Psychology, which was founded by Margaret Lohenfeld, and I was trained uh, personally by her, so I was really very privileged. Margaret Lohenfeld was a child psychiatrist um, and was working in the uh, late 1920s. At the time, uh, what she did was quite unique because in those days, Freud has just become prominent in the psychological world and they used uh, words as the main um, uh, vocabulary of expression. Now, that was one of the things which uh, Lohenfeld thought some more about. She says, well, you know, the children cannot express themselves with words as well as an adult. So she said, well, what is the language that it comes more naturally to a child? And so she thought that maybe uh, we could try using toys. Um, and so that was the beginning of her discovering the usefulness of a non-verbal language that uh, children actually used. One of the techniques she employed was using sand in sand trays that she called the world technique. Lernfeld also designed uh, what is called the Lernfeld mosaics, the set of uh, shapes mathematically designed based on the square and the mosaic was always part of the assessment and always part of the final session. And so you can compare whether they have actually made any progress. Lohenfeld's approach has influenced me very much as a speech and language therapist because I'm working mainly with children who have problems expressing themselves verbally. Using a non-verbal technique has been very, very helpful, and having a way of thinking using Lohenfeld's theories, thinking about what the children are actually expressing and how they're doing that, has broadened out my work enormously. So I think I've been able to work much more effectively with confidence using a non-verbal approach, not just sticking with trying to get children to be verbal. Often, the, the role of the therapist is what's important, as a sort of companion along the way. And you're alongside the child, you're, you're there for them, but you're not telling them what they're thinking. You're listening and hearing what they're saying. And that is a really, really important thing about how to listen to children and what they're conveying. The other thing which I think is distinctive about Lernfeld is her theory, which she called the proto-system thinking because she was wondering what language the child would use uh, to think with. And then she decided, in the end, that it was something quite different from what adults think. They don't use words at all. What they use is their sensorial experience, which is all from all their senses. So it's from their eyes, from their ears, uh, and quite often from their smell. Uh, and the most important sense, which is not what we think about, is the sense of touch. That is essential. She gave us the techniques which she developed with her own observations of children. She also had her theories, and I think that it's really, really important as a Lohenfeld therapist to be aware of the theoretical background what you're actually doing when you're sitting there as a therapist, how you're actually working, what you're understanding by what the child is communicating, and allowing the child to show you what they're thinking rather than for the therapist to be telling the child what they're thinking. Well, I think the, the, the most important contribution, uh, in fact, I think it's her unique contribution to the world of psychotherapy is the uh, instruments that she devised for children to express themselves and her proto-system thinking theory because that explains 
the difference between child thinking and adult thinking.